Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today I am going to show you how you can use your Cricut Maker or your Cricut Maker 3, anything that cuts basswood, to make your very own large wooden name sign. So you can't cut a long piece of basswood with a Cricut. You can cut, of course, small pieces of wood. So we are going to cut several small pieces of wood and then I want to show you how to join them together to make a large name. I have done my logo this way and I've also done the sign we're going to be doing today, which is Jasmine Violetta, a sweet baby girl of my good friends that um, I made a name sign for. So you can use this for baby name signs, you can use it for logos, you can use it for anything that you want to smell on your wall. <laughs> so today we are going to be doing part one of this video, which is simply cutting everything out with your Cricut. I'm going to show you how I designed the name in Cricut Design Space so that you can make your child's name or your business name or your pet's name um, and how I spliced everything apart so that it would cut properly on my Cricut. I will show you how I join everything together. So after that, we will paint everything a nice pretty color. You can leave it at that stage. However, it's not going to be as sturdy as if you add a resin top coat. So in part two of this video, I will show you how to add the optional top coat. So if you wanna watch that, stick around after the video, I will leave a link. But for today, we are just cutting everything out with our Cricut and joining it together to make one big, beautiful baby name. Jasmine Violetta to hang over my friend's daughter's crib. I'm really excited. It turns out so cute, you guys. <laughs> of course, I would have filmed this intro at her house, but this was still, this was a few months ago and I was still wearing my mask all the time. So I wasn't going to be talking a lot in that video um, when I'm hanging it up. So came back home, filmed the intro here but we're gonna get started. Let's start cutting. Well, let's design first, then we'll start cutting. Now let's go. <laughs>
y'all. So, I mean, it takes a minute, especially all those long basswood cuts on your Cricut. Um, but I find that it's not hard to do. Anybody can do it. The, the sharper your knife blade is, the easier it works. So after, you know, I cut out one name, I cut this one out first, it went pretty easy on my Cricut. The second name that I've showed you here today, Jasmine Violetta, I was still using that same knife blade. I was having to really kind of pop those letters out instead of them just cleanly coming off my cutting mat perfectly cut. So if I had changed my knife blade in between projects, the more heavy duty projects you do, like cutting basswood, the more often you have to change those blades, um, it probably would have been simpler to cut the second. But the more you know, the better you do. So next time I'll know I need to switch that knife blade sooner. <laughs> Either way, I love, love, love how it turned out. I will put some pretty finished pictures for you so that you can get a really good picture how it looks over the crib. But in the meantime, if you want to see how I added the resin top layer, I did a copper metallic top layer on this, and I did a pretty um, gold glitter one on Jasmine's. So, you know, if you want to see how to add that second top layer, go check out that video. If you liked this video and you want to see more Cricut projects like this one, like, comment, subscribe, show your mom, tell your sister. Turn on that bell for notifications. I will be putting out more Cricut videos, more resin videos, more home decor projects all the time. See you next week. Bye.